So hopefully you've got to grips with how to navigate around the user interface with OBS Studio. Uh, we're going to look now at um, using the OBS virtual camera in our Microsoft Teams meetings. So we've got the plugins that we need and that's the OBS virtual camera and I'm going to show you how to set that up and basically set that up with OBS and Microsoft Teams. So you need to go ahead and open OBS Studio. So these are the scenes that we made earlier. So we're going to scrap these for now. I'm just going to remove all of these. Uh, we won't be using any of those at the moment. We're going to be creating a new setup for that one. So we're going to go up to the top here and we have the tools menu. And you want to click on virtual cam. So by default, this is not set up like this. Um, you'll have uh, it's something similar to this. So I'm going to make sure that auto start is enabled. And I'm going to turn on horizontal flip and you'll see why when we start showing text um, from like browser sources and stuff because it's all backwards. So horizontal flip basically turns that background into a way that you can actually read it. Uh, so the buffered frames we're going to set to zero because we want zero latency. Um, this only really plays in effect if you're using this to actually stream. Um, it'll basically cause like dropped frames um, and lag for the end user, uh, the person who's viewing you, uh, but we don't need to worry about that. So we'll set buffered frames to zero. And I'm gonna set the target camera to OBS camera. So with these settings as they are, we can go ahead and click start. And what that's doing is it's now running a virtual webcam in the background. Uh, to activate this um, in Microsoft Teams, we're going to go ahead and open up uh, our Microsoft Teams window. Just drag that in here for you. So we've got our Microsoft Teams window, and we're going to go ahead and go to our little icon up at the top right here, and click on Settings. And under settings, we're going to go to devices. And under the camera, we're going to select our OBS camera. So at the moment, the preview is showing a blank screen. And that's because if we open up OBS, we don't have anything in our broadcast window. Uh, so we need to start adding things in our broadcast window that we, uh, that we actually want to use. So I can go ahead and close this now. I'm just going to throw this back out of the way um, over here. So we're going to start adding things to our broadcast window and let's have a look what we're going to be adding. Okay, so back in OBS, we're going to create two scenes. Uh, you can create as many as you like, but just for the purpose of our Teams meeting presentation, I'm going to create two scenes. Uh, the first one, I'm going to rename this and I'm going to call this one uh, opening screen. And the second one, I'm going to name a uh, presentation. So in the opening screen, uh, this is going to be like the first screen which I'm going to show people in my meeting that arrive to my meeting. Um, it's basically going to say what the meeting is going to be about. Maybe have a few images in there. Um, and I think we'll just leave it at that. Um, we don't need our webcam for that one. So for this, I'm going to add a text GDI source and I'm going to name this title and for the title I've, I'm going to call this one a demonstration of the use of OBS with Microsoft Teams. You can see it's gone massively over the page so uh, we want to scale this down to something like 72 should be fine. And I can go ahead and scroll down and change a bunch of other options in here. So I can create, I can change the color, I can add outlines, uh, I can add gradient effects. Uh, which for simplicity, I'm just going to uh, change the color. So I'm going to change the color to a nice orange color. And we'll leave it at that for now. So I'm going to just drag this into roughly here of my scene. And we're going to add a bunch of images. So I'm going to get a background image and to make it look 
fairly pleasable to the eye. I'm going to add two logos um, just to kind of give an insight into what this meeting is supposed to be about. So I'm going to go ahead here to the sources and add an image. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, background. And I'm going to select the image file here. I'm going to click in browse. And I'm going to find uh, a background which I've used previously throughout uh, GlobalCon 2. So uh, we'll find that. I think it's under the build. I'm going to use asset 2 there. So we're going to use this background. I'm just going to drag the title over the top just so it appears because there's layers uh, which are discussed in, um, in the uh, scenes and sources part of this video. So we've got our text and we have a background. And uh, we want to add two more images. So I'm going to add uh, OBS logo. Again, find the logo wherever it's going to be. I think it's. Just bear with me two seconds. Yeah, so we're going to use the OBS logo here. And I'm just going to scale that down. And we're going to add another logo. And it's going to be the Teams logo. Select Browse and change your file. Let's scale this down to roughly the same size. That'll do. And then we can just position everything how we want it. So yeah, that's going to be our opening screen. So our webcam is going to be active in our Teams meeting. So when everybody joins the meeting to see what's obviously happening, this is going to be the first screen that they see. Um, so we can go ahead and create our second screen now. It's going to be the presentation. So when the meeting actually starts, everybody's in and they're like obviously waiting for it to start. Uh, we can then switch over to our presentation scene. Uh, this is where our presentation will begin. We can have our camera and our PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to show you how to uh, put those into uh, into your scene. So we're going to go ahead and click on the presentation scene. I can speed this up actually because transitions are really slow. Enough. Increase that to 500 milliseconds, which is going to be a lot quicker between the scenes. Uh, if you wanted to know how to do the scene transitions, um, I'll go into it a little bit more in the uh, scenes and sources part of this series of videos. Uh, so you can go and watch it there. So we're in the sources here, and the first thing I'm going to do is add our camera. So to add a camera, we do as we have done previously. So we're going to go to video capture device and select, uh, sorry, rename this to webcam. And as I always do, I'm going to set the resolution to custom and set the highest frame, uh, highest resolution, sorry, that my camera can, uh, can do. Uh, this program does have weird issues with exposure, so if it <laughs> looks like it's dying out and coming back in, uh, it's just a weird webcam issue. Uh, but we'll leave that down in the bottom right corner down there. And we want to add our presentation. So I have the presentation, uh, it's a really <laughs> simple presentation in, uh, in my Teams at the moment, uh, which is this one. It's basically got two slides. So we've got my presentation, just a title slide, um, and then a second slide, just so you can see the difference between the two slides. Um, and the way I'm going to broadcast this is not using Microsoft Teams itself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead to the More Options um, button up at the top right here, and I'm going to click Open in Browser. And the reason being is I'm able to then grab a browser link um, to the presentation, which allows me to interact with it within OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and grab my link here. So easiest way to do this is go to share here and then copy link. So I can get rid of this now. Close that and I'm just going to move this back out of the way. So, back in OBS here, we're going to add another source at the browser. 
and to rename this one presentation. That's already in use. Um, we'll call it PowerPoint. And I'm going to set the native resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. It'll probably be similar for most people, um, unless you're running 4K monitor, then you'll want to change that. Um, but I think I did go into depth again in that in the scenes and sources uh, part of the video um, previously. So, yeah, uh, we're going to go to URL. So, we've got a URL copied, so we can paste that in here. And that's all we need to do for this. We're going to click OK. And it's already actually saved us. Uh, Hassle sort of logging in. So what usually tends to happen is our browser plugin within OBS will ask you to basically log in again, even if you're logged in through your Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome browsers or any other browser, because it's a, it's a separate browser, so it doesn't use any of the information that your normal browsers will use. Um, I already have myself saved and logged in um, from a previous video, um, so. Yeah, if, if that's the case, then you can literally just right click, uh, click interact, and then you'll be able to type in your username and password when it prompts you for it. So yeah, um, to, what we're going to do, sorry, is going to grab the webcam, bring it over the PowerPoint, um, just so we can actually see ourselves. And obviously we've got all this um, user interface from uh, PowerPoint, which we don't want to do. Um, so I'm going to show you how to basically broadcast this so it looks a lot nicer. So the way to do this in here, in OBS, sorry, is using the interact function. So we click on our PowerPoint um, source, you right click and select interact. And this brings up a new window where we can switch between slides and basically change any of the information within it um, from this window. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to slideshow and I'm going to play from beginning. So now we have full access to our PowerPoint presentation without having to leave uh, OBS itself. So there's no switching windows, having loads of different user interfaces up on the screen. It's, it's all just within OBS. So it's a really smart way of doing it. So once I've run through my presentation, I can do this by clicking back, forwards, and they're literally only going to see this presentation with my webcam. And that's how we integrate a presentation into OBS and get it onto Teams. So once we've got our presentation set up, I'm just going to interact and go back to the beginning of this. So we're going to go back into Microsoft Teams and go to the calendar and I'm just going to click meet now. And now it is showing, um, I'll set this to the left here, and I'm going to bring up my OBS window on the right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's showing our presentation as a webcam. So this is what people are going to see when uh, they join us. Um, and we can literally leave it as at that at the moment. Um, so yep, yeah. and the way I would tend to run my presentation is however many screens you've got here. I'm just going to add a blank scene. Um, if it's in the uh, normal mode, um, basically if you select each scene, it will instantly transition between them uh, for everybody else to see. Now what I tend to do is run studio mode. Uh, sorry, let's run studio mode, and what this does is allows you to pre-edit and get your scenes ready before you actually show them to your audience. So for example, at the moment they can see demonstration on the use of OBS with Microsoft Teams. And say for example, I wanted to prepare this presentation, get it ready, get it in full screen. I can do so um, in here without them actually uh, like seeing it. As soon as I'm ready to show then what I want them to view, uh, I can go ahead and click transition here. And now that puts that screen on the screen for them. And then I can go ahead and edit the next one if I wanted to by selecting it. I don't know, so for example, I wanted to add my webcam. 
we'll just do that. I'm going to set transform and just got the uh, fit to screen. So again, they can only see the presentation here. And then that, now I've just quickly set this scene up before switching. I can just hit transition and it brings this one in as my new, as my new scene. So that's how you can make OBS work really nicely with Microsoft Teams. And uh, we'll move on to the next part.